In this video, we'll be focusing on preparing the protein for docking process. If you're seeing this video for the first time, you can watch our previous video on installation of Linux subsystem on Windows and installing Autodock Winner and OpenBabel for the docking process. We'll be posting a series of videos how to do molecular docking and analysis. Let's begin with the retrieval of protein from rcsb.org. RCSB is nothing but a powerful tool for exploring 3D structures of biological macromolecule for basic and applied research purpose. It is one-stop shop for 3D structural data. Let us take an example of MMP9 protein with which we can do dock several compounds. Here I'm going to download MMP9 inhibitor complex. You can find its details and publication. Now click download file and then click on the PDB format to get the protein in PDB. Now we'll have to remove the water molecules and ligands from the complex to make the monomer of protein for docking process. Open the protein in Discovery Studio Visualizer. Now you can see the red dots which are water molecules then two chains of protein along with the ligand. Now when we click on the ligand group, we can see it as highlighted in yellow. This and this. We can remove that ligand by simply pressing the delete button after selecting it. Then delete HETATM. Now we have two chains of protein. Let's see is there any difference among each chain. Chain B starts with aspartic acid 113 and ends with tyrosine 443. Whereas chain A starts with phenylalanine 110 to thyrosine 443. If both chains are the same, one over other can be considered for molecular docking process. So I'll be deleting the chain B for further steps. Now we have the protein monomer without any ligand or water molecule or additional chains. Let's save it as 1GKC filtered. Now close the Discovery Studio and open Autodoc tool. All details are mentioned in the description if you need to install these softwares. It'll take a little time to load. Once it is opened, you can drag the prepared PDB inside this tool. You can see there is only one chain now. Click on edit and add hydrogen. Then mark polar only, then click OK. Now you can see the hydrogen atoms are added on the proteins. Now go to edit again, go to miscellaneous and check for missing atoms. If there is any, you have to select those and click on the repair missing atoms in the same section. Close and click on the edit again and then go to charges then add the Coleman charges. Since in PDB files hydrogen atoms and charges missing, so generally these charges and hydrogen atoms are added for proper optimization. Now check the charge on the total residue. It's showing no residues with non-integral charges found. So it is good to go now. Next thing is we have to save it in the Autodoc format, which is PDBQT. Click on the grid and then click on choose under macromolecule. Click on the 1GKC filtered and then click the select molecule. While preparing, there shouldn't be any non-bonded atom error in the process. So this shows there is no non-bonded atoms. Now save it as 1gkcfiltered.pdbqt. Next task is to make the grid box. This is to set the boundary of the docking. If you don't know the active sites of the protein and would like to search all available surface, the grid box should cover the whole macromolecule. Otherwise, you can just find the active sites of your protein of interest using this tool called CastP. Let's see how it is done. Go to this link, it's again mentioned in the description. Click on the calculation and upload the PDB file and then submit. Now it will generate a link to which you can click and see the results of binding pockets. The active sites is in the binding pockets where the catalysis occurs. You can click on the show pockets to see many more binding pockets. Around 20 results are given for this. We'll just go with the pocket with higher area and volume. Now each of these amino acids are marked in the macromolecules in Autodoc which is highlighted in the visualization area. Once all amino acids in the binding pockets are highlighted, the next task is to make grid configuration for running Autodoc. Now go to grid and click on the grid box, move and resize the grid in such a way that the binding sites are inside the grid. This X, Y, Z dimensions and coordinates 
will be used in the configuration file for Autodoc. So now the protein is ready to go for docking. We'll continue with the ligand preparation and Autodoc running its analysis in the upcoming videos. Do subscribe and enable the bell button to get notified for the upcoming videos.